What is going on YouTube? I'm Valentino with Next Gen Speed. Got another video for you guys today, showing you guys a new mod I got from my Camaro SS over here, 2017. And it is dirty as fuck right now, because I'm just in Ohio visiting my beautiful girlfriend, but got this new mod over here I want to show you guys. I'm about to put it on and see how it is. This is the mod right here, which is a new front grill for the front of the car. Pretty much just that big one in the center. And the difference between these two is this is a SEMA or anniversary style grill that has different cuts in it. it has little accents right here that are painted to color match your car. This looks a little better instead of the basic plain grill on the car. As you can see, it's just like kind of plain. I mean, it looks pretty nice, but compared to this one, it looks so much better. I'll show you guys a little comparison. As you guys can see, just a lot better, matches the car. It'll just make it pop out a lot better. It is the same exact fitment as the OEM grill, so pretty much is like plug and play type of style deal. But if you want to get one of these, check out nextgenspeed.com. You get them for around $350. And these colors right here, or these accents that are color match, will come in the color of your car. See if a red Camaro, it'll match the same color. Black Camaro, same color. Any color Camaro, it'll match your car. So it's a pretty sweet deal, but check out nextgenspeed.com and we'll hook you up. All right, now to get this installed, it's kind of a hassle, but not really too major unless you make it complicated. But you literally have to take the whole front bumper off. Like legit, you take the whole bumper off. It seems kind of scary, but it's not really that hard. It has some bolts up here, some Torx bits all around there. Some Torx bits down here in the wheel wells and some more bolts hidden behind here. There's some more bolts and clips under here. And if you check out videos showing you how to install this grill, They'll tell you to take the front wheels off, but you do not have to do that. For my car, I do not want to jack it up if I don't have to because this car has pinch welds. And if you don't have the correct jack pad with the slits in it made for GM, then you'll kind of mess up your car, so I just kind of avoid that if I don't have to. But we're pretty much going to take the whole front end off, including all this bumper, the splitter, the grills, and everything as one piece. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off all these torque bits bolts over here on the, along the edge. And then once you got all those off, you just want to pull up on this little trim piece. These will pop up. Just let it loose, don't take it fully off. Make sure nothing's clipped in place. And then I'm going to go to each wee well and take off all these bolts, which is a total of three, as you can see so far. Got one there, one there, and one right up there. So now once you got those bolts off, you just want to pull back this carpet. Kind of lodge behind here, so be careful not to rip it. And there's one more bolt down here, just a regular bolt, not a Torx bit. So once you get that back, you want to pull the liner back. Then you look in here, and you'll see one bolt right there. You want to pop that off, that holds the bumper to the fender, so you want to pop that off real quick. And there's also a couple more bolts up on top of here. It's kind of hard to see. There's a lot more up in there, about three or four. Just pop those off on each side. And that first bolt will detach the fender from the bumper. As you can see, just like that. And then once you get that one off, you want to look inside the fender well and see these two bolts right here. You want to pop those off. And there's one more. A good view of it and there's one more right up there and there's also one all the way up there there'll be a total of five on each side so make sure you don't miss one and since we did not jack up the cars and take off the wheels you will have to twist the wheels from one direction to the other so if you're working on the left side of the car you want it to look like this if you're working on the right side you want to turn the wheels the opposite way but let's hear this Borla S type that I just put on recently
now that the side bolts are off and the top bolts, I'm going to go up to the bottom of the car. And as you can see, i got these bolts right here that go along the center. Just want to detach these ones right here. But do not remove the self tapping screws that you have for your splitter if you do have one, because that you need those to stay in your bumper. And besides the one up front, you want to remove this one and also one on the other side in the center. And now it's time to remove the bumper. As you can see, I started on this side, just kind of pulled on it a little bit, just get it popped out, get all the clips out. The same thing on this side, just be gentle with it, be careful, take it nice and slow. scraping your fenders up because it is easy because these clips pop out just try to make sure you don't scrape up your fenders it looks like I missed a bolt so make sure you get all the bolts okay <laughs> all right now when you get every bolt out and you make sure every bolts out you just want to be careful with it Pull it slowly, pull it towards you. And she is off. Now once you get it off, you wanna to go to the right side of your car or the left side if you're sitting inside of it. Look inside, you'll see this harness right here. You just want to go up here and unplug it. All right, now if you look inside of the bumper, there's this big waffle piece, like the bumper reinforcement. If you take a look inside of the bumper, you'll see this waffle piece, which is the bumper absorber. Some sort of the impact and stuff like that, and the mount and everything. Just want to pop that off and pop off all these clips. You can see this little clip right here. use your fingers or get some pliers yeah I'm getting some pliers <laughs> and the grill is officially out stock grill all gone ready to put in the new one as you can see, it's pretty much different, but let's get her put on. After about 45 minutes of fucking with clips and trying to finagle them and get them in place, she is finally on. Can't really see it too good though, so let's get the bumper on and see how she looks with the bumper on. And she is officially on. Definitely needs a cleanup, but it looks pretty damn nice. Something new. Damn, I love it. <laughs> Been wanting this since I first got my car, since I first seen them come out. And that honestly makes it pop out a lot more. Hell yeah. It looks like I'm about to go to the car wash though. Go for a little cruise after doing this for about two hours. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but. If you guys want to get one of these for yourself, check out nextgenspeed.com. We'll hook you up. Hook you up right for about $3.50 with some, like $2.50 shipping, which is not bad at all. So head over to nextgenspeed.com. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Got some more mods coming, so stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button below. If you did not, tell me why and we'll I'll try to work on that. But that's pretty much it for this video. Please like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.